Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in. How about a big old pot of cowboy beans? You know, down here in Texas, it's cold outside. It's even snowing in some places down south. But this recipe is the way my grandmother and my daddy used to do it. It's real simple. It'll definitely warm your belly up on those cold days and nights. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do this. Now I'm going to be using this brand of beans. You can get this at Walmart or a lot of other stores. They're pinto beans. They're not red kidney beans. Pinto beans. I find that this works really well. First thing I want to do though is boil me some ham hocks. A couple hours so that meat falls off of there. And then after that, I want to add that to another pot of water along with my sorted and rinsed beans. Put that water about two to three inches above them beans like that. Then all I'm going to put in there now is some onion, a little bit of jalapeno peppers, and that's pretty much it. I don't want to season these beans just yet. There's a right time to season them, otherwise they'll come out bland. I'm also going to put a little bit of dried cilantro in there and give them a stir. Now what I want to do is I want to bring this to a hard boil Make sure you stir down to the bottom of that pot. Put a cover on it. Keep stirring it every now and then because you know if you burn one bean, you've burned them all. You might as well burn them all because it just ruins it. Check them every now and then. Now what we're looking for is cracking and a little bit of wrinkling there. That's going to tell us when to season. Put that cap back on it. Continue to boil it. Reduce the heat. Simmer it for about an hour, an hour and a half. But about 45 minutes in, go ahead and give it a stir. And looks like we're gonna need some water. Now, about water, go ahead and put another pot on your stove next to your beans and warm that up. Never add cold water to a pot of beans that you've already been cooking. It makes them mushy, and then you gotta start that process all over again. So just keep a pot of warm water handy in case you need it. So like I said, it looks like I need to add just a little bit of water. Just throw that in there, not too much. You don't wanna make it too soupy. Put that cap back on there, cook it for another 30, 45 minutes. Now let's check our beans. And you see right there, it's about cracking and wrinkling. So that's telling me, hey, we want to be fed. So it's time to do that. I'm going to use some grilled maize mesquite seasoning. And something else I found at the Red Robin hamburger joint. This is really great seasoned Red Robin seasoning salt. They even sell this $3 for a big old bottle. You can also get it on Amazon or in Walmart. Some stores carry this, but go ahead and throw that in there. I'm also going to throw in some coarse black pepper. Stir it up. Cook it for about 30, 45 more minutes. Let them beans get filled on all them seasons. After that, guys, it's time to bowl it up. Look at that. Pinto cowboy beans. We even throw some bacon on top of it and a little bit of vegetation for a little color. Hey guys, like I said, nothing better on a cold day or night to warm you up a little bit. Serve it up with some cast iron skillet cornbread and you got a great filling warming meal. Hey, I hope y'all give this a try. If you do, let me know how it come out for you. Or if you have another way of doing it, let me know. If you like the video, guys, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, as always, bye bye y'all.